Hello friends, Recap Legends here. Today I am going to explain the second episode of Moonlight. As we saw in the first episode of Moon Knight, one of Amit's followers named Arthur Harrow tries to get the scarab. And to get the scarab, Arthur attacks Stephen Grant, but he is saved by the incarnation of Khonshu, and in this sequence, we see Moon Knight in the last scene of episode 1. So without wasting much of your time let's go to explain the next episode of this series. But if you have not seen the explanation video of episode 1, then you must first watch the explanation video of episode 1, so that you can understand this episode. So at the beginning of this episode, we see Stephen Grant, who suddenly wakes up from his sleep and falls from his bed. After this, Stephen goes in front of the mirror and tries to talk to the other person, which was hidden inside him. He still felt that Mark was still in him and that he could talk to him, and he was still very upset about the incident, which was happened last night because he was attacked by a mythological jackal. After this, the scene shifts and we show Stephen going to the museum, but as soon as Stephen reaches the museum, he sees the condition and understands that the destruction of the museum happened because of him. When Stephen arrives at the museum, the guards tell him that there was a lot of vandalism here last night, and he is now going to look at the camera footage to investigate the incident. On this Mark tells him that can I also see that camera footage with you, maybe I can help you some. And when both of them go to see the photos, Stephen tells him that what you are about to see now is no less than a horror film. When they both start looking at the photos, Stephen says look carefully here, a jackal is going to attack me and he's the one who ransacked here. Even after looking at the photos for a long time, the guard does not see anyone except Stephen, and after seeing those photos, all the blame comes on Stephen. And Stephen also understands that Mark must have erased all the evidence here. Now that all the blame comes on Stephen, so he is called to the head office and got fired from his job on saying that your mental condition is not good. Stephen becomes very depressed due to being fired from his job and he leaves the museum, and goes to a street artist and starts telling him about his life. He also tells that last night I found a key and a mobile phone in my room and I don't know which room this key belongs to. That's when the idea comes to Stephen's mind that why not find the room from which this key belongs, so that he can solve the mystery. After this, Stephen goes to a lodge searching for that room and he tells the guards that, this key belongs to your lodge, but I do not know under what name this room is booked. On this the guard says how are you talking sir, I know you and your name is Mark and you are a regular customer of our lodge. After this, the guard leaves Stephen near Mark's room and leaves from there. As Stephen enters the room, he notices a bag containing some money as well as Mark's passport and golden scarab. Now here I would like to tell you that scarab works like a compass that tells the location of Amit's buried body. At the same time, Mark also comes in the mirror and tells Stephen that, there is more danger ahead, so hand over your body to me and let me do my work. Mark also says that when my work is completed, I will give you back your body and set you free forever. But this time Stephen confronts Mark and without any fear tells him that you ruined my life, you took away my girlfriend from me and even you took away my means of earning and after all this, I will not hand over my body to you, and at the same time Stephen asked to Mark, who are you and what are you doing inside my body? On this Mark tells Stephen that I am an incarnation of Khonshu, the god of the moon and I work to kill bad people. Hearing this, Stephen tells Mark, I am not going to hand over my body to you uh. Andy I am going to tell the police about your black deeds. Saying this, Stephen starts going there with that bag, but seeing Khonshu on the way, he gets scared and runs outside of the lodge and collides with a bike. And then he meets Layla and asks her how did you find me? So Layla says that I have not seen an idiot like you, I have reached you only after tracing your phone. After listening to her, Stephen tries to say something to her, but hearing his voice, Layla tells him that, what has happened to you? Why are you talking like a blinking cat? At least you can talk to me very well, after all, I am your wife. Stephen is completely shaken after hearing this and tells Layla, 
Can you drop me at my apartment? After which both of them reached to that apartment. Basically, that apartment belonged to his mother, where Stephen lived with his pet, Fish. But seeing many Egyptian books there, Layla understands that the one standing with her right now is not Mark, but it is a lookalike of Mark, because Layla knew that Mark was not interested in Egyptian books. After this, Stephen starts telling her the whole truth and is about to show the scarab, but Mark again appears in front of him with the help of a mirror and says that if that scarab falls in the hands of Layla then her life will come in danger. After listening to Mark, Stephen puts the scarab back in the bag, but Layla understands that Stephen is definitely hiding something from her. That's why Layla checks the bag again where she finds the scrub and starts asking about that scarab but at the same time two cops knock on Stephen's door. After this, Stephen opens the door and says, If you have come to complain about the vandalism in the museum, then let me tell you that I have made up for it. But here the policeman had come for some other purpose. They enter Stephen's room on the pretext of investigating him and arrest Mark after seeing Mark's passport in the bag. On the way, the policeman talks and tell him that Mark is a very dangerous man and he had stolen and thereafter killed many people in Egypt. Stephen gets stunned after listening to him because he didn't even know about it. Then the car stops after going a short distance and we get to know that both of those detectives used to work for Arthur. After which after a while Arthur also comes there and tells him that at a time the situation from which you are passing through. I was also going through the same situation. Then Stephen asks the reason behind it. Then Arthur tells him that you are the incarnation of Khonshu now. And I know all this because I was the incarnation of Khonshu before you used to do. But in the meantime, Stephen hears Khonshu's voice. In which Khonsu is telling Stephen not to listen to Arthur's words because you are the incarnation of the God of Justice. But before Stephen can say anything to Arthur, Arthur tells Stephen that you must be hearing Khonshu's voice now and you are advising him not to listen to my words. On this, Stephen tells Arthur that can you hear Khonshu's voice. Then Arthur says that he could hear it till a few days ago and I have an idea what he can do to you because I was the first incarnation of Khonshu but now I have started following the path of Amit. Basically Khonsu and Amit, both were Egyptian gods. Still, the work of Khonsu was to punish the person, who committed the crime, and Amit's job was to punish that person before committing the crime, so that there is no crime in the world, so that the world became like heaven. Now Stephen is shocked to hear his words and tells Arthur that, you mean, as if a child is still young and he is going to commit a crime in the future, then you will kill him now, and if you do this then it is wrong. But Arthur, ignores his words and asks about that scarab. Then Stephen says that I do not have that scarab. Basically, Arthur wanted to get that scarab because, through the same scarab, Amit could be liberated by finding the idol of Amit which other gods had together buried the idol of Amit so that there would be peace in the world. When Stephen tells this, Arthur's men catch him and search him to find the scarab, but just then Layla comes there and says that the scarab is with her. And if you guys have the guts, snatch these scarabs from me and she somehow manages to escape from there with Stephen, but seeing her run away, Arthur uses Amit's power to reveal a mythological jackal and the jackal tries to kill them to snatch the scarab, but somehow both of them hide in a room to save their lives. But Stephen was not sure whether he should listen to Layla or Mark, because on one hand, Layla was talking to calling his mythological suit, while Stephen had not any other suit, on the other hand, Mark was repeatedly telling him to hand over his body. Then suddenly the jackal attacks on Stephen and throws him down, but before falling Stephen calls his suit and when he falls down he finds himself in a new suit. Now we see here that Stephen has got a new suit of his which looks a bit mythological in appearance, but the same Mark would have a different suit which was completely mummy type in which he looks like an incarnation Khonshu. Here Stephen and Layla start fighting with that jackal but they both cannot stand in front of jackal and meanwhile, Stephen collides with a bus and then Mark comes in front of the bus lead and says to Stephen that, there is still time, hand over your body to me or else you both will die. After listening to him, 
Stephen unwillingly surrenders his body to Mark and after doing so, Mark appears. Mark then kills the jackal with the help of a pointed road by knocking him down from a high tower. After this Mark returns to his normal form, but the twist in this story comes when Mark completely takes possession of Stephen's body. This means that when Stephen comes in front of the mirror and asks Mark to give his body back, then Mark says that now he will return his body only when he completes the work of Kanchu. What happens here is that the one whose body is in control, depends on his mind, whether he will return the body or not. After listening to him, Stephen starts saying bad things to him from the mirror and starts asking her to get back his body. This angers Mark and he breaks the mirror. After this, when Mark does not find the scarab in his pocket, he realizes that the scarab must have fallen somewhere while jumping from the building, and that scarab must have been in the hands of Arthur. Not seeing the scarab in Mark's hand, Khonshu comes there and tells him that in any case, we have to stop him by reaching Egypt before Arthur. And with this episode 2 ends at this. But now soon we will explain the next episode of this series and if you like this explanation video by us then definitely subscribe to our channel. Thank you.